the two oil slick, collared kingfishers, who survived the June 14 oil spill in Singapore waters, are in a stable condition, after extensive work, by wildlife rescuers, to save them, but they are not out of the woods yet. Birds that survive oil spills typically require at least seven weeks to be nursed back to health, said Minister for National Development Desmond Lee in a Facebook post on June 26. Four kingfishers were rescued from different parts of Singapore in the aftermath of the Republic's worst oil spill in over a decade, caused by a dredging boat hitting a stationary cargo tanker at Peza Panjang Terminal. Two of them subsequently died. One survivor is currently being treated at National Park Sports Centre for Wildlife Rehabilitation and the other is under the care of Wildlife Rescue Group Animal Concerns Research and Education Society ACUS. The collared kingfisher is the most common species of kingfisher in Singapore. It can be found throughout the country, including in urban areas away from water. The Straits Times was given access to observe veterinary treatment for the kingfisher at N Park's Wildlife Rehabilitation Facility in Lim Chu Kong. The bird, which was rescued from East Coast Park on June 16, now spends most of its time in an incubator as it recovers. It is kept warm at 28 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius because the oil impacts the kingfisher's ability to maintain its body temperature. To avoid causing the bird more stress as it is unaccustomed to human contact, it cannot be handled for more than 15 minutes a day. Animal rescuers work swiftly during this limited time window to give it the veterinary care it needs. When taken out of the incubator, the bird is swaddled in a purple cloth. Vets quickly weigh it and administer fluids for hydration and pain relief medication while parts of its body like the eyes, mouth, and nasal passages have been cleaned and are free of oil, many of its turquoise blue feathers remain tarred with oil. Cleaning has to be done slowly and meticulously with a toothbrush. NPARC's group director Anna Wong said, it's very difficult to clean oil off the birds because it gets into all the feathers. We can't clean the bird every day because it gets too stressed. That's why cleaning is not completed even though it has been with us for a while. For now, the bird's condition has stabilized. It is alert, eating well on its own, and has gained a bit of weight. Dr. Wong added, It's too early to say if it is on the road to recovery, because when birds get stressed, they can get anemia where they have low levels of red blood cells. At Acres, the condition of the kingfisher it is nursing seemed to have taken a positive turn. The bird was rescued on June 17 from Lazarus Island, an offshore island about a 40-minute boat ride from Marina South. It was previously estimated to have only a 30% chance of survival, but with the oil fully cleaned from its feathers, it can already fly, increasing its chances of being released into the wild. While its feathers are still dark from the oil stains and could remain so permanently, ST saw videos of it flitting around its cage and eating on its own. Commenting on its chance of recovery. Acres co-chief executive Kale Vanan Balakrishnan said, I will still be conservative and say 30% to 50% kingfishers always get stressed easily, so anything can happen in captivity. The bird's natural waterproof coating which helps it to fly even after diving into water, has been washed off in the process of removing the oil. This coating needs to be restored naturally. Over six to seven months. To test if the bird's waterproof coating has been restored, acres will mist the bird with water and observe if its feathers repel water or get soaked. Mr. Lee said that NPARCs, as well as partners such as acres, Mandai Wildlife Group, SCA Aquarium and Singapore Veterinary Association are ready to carry out further wildlife rescue work. If there are reports of other wildlife that may be impacted by the oil slick. NPARC's Dr. Wong said the various organizations are in close contact with one another following the oil spill.
and will tap on one another's expertise. NPARC's Wildlife Rehabilitation Center usually treats native animals like birds and reptiles, while S.E.A Aquarium could help with marine mammals. Mendai Wildlife Group has more specialized equipment if an animal requires further diagnosis.